The goal of this video is to explore some of the settings in Calidus. So whether you just downloaded Calidus and you're trying to set it up, or you're trying to standardize settings throughout your office, hopefully this video will give you a bit of an overview of which settings are important. So we're going to start in Draw Settings, which is this pencil icon. You'll definitely want to make sure that Full Screen Cursor and Snap Angle are both turned on. The Full Screen Cursor and the Snap Angle will speed you up considerably when tracing out areas. The full screen cursor shows that red hatch line which helps you identify your cursor and the snap to 45 locks it on a 45 degree angle. If you'd like to get it off a 45 degree angle just for a line or two you can hold down the shift key and drop points off of that 45 or you can just turn it off in draw settings if an entire plan is off 45. Another handy setting is the copy material on room selection. So if I check that box, whatever room I have highlighted, if I now click on additional rooms, it will change those rooms to that source material. Let's say I want to change all of these rooms in LVT2 to LVT1. So instead of clicking LVT1 for each. I can just click on one, hold down my shift key, and select LVT1, and it will change all of the rooms in LVT2 to LVT1. So that's just holding down shift key. Next, let's look at room settings. So in room settings, we can name areas, set the start point, change the pile angle, and those are about the only things you're going to do in room settings. Now let's look at global settings. We would recommend something like this. A few things that you're going to want to make sure of is that your output units are set to square yards. Unless you're operating outside of the United States and then you would be using metric. The draw seams only and display seams and thicker pin help you to see a roll good layout so with those turned on, when I quantify, I get these nice red lines. With those turned off, I don't get anything. So those are definitely good to have on. The section ID and length on cuts, and also the room ID on roll cut, helps you identify these rolls. So one is the first cut and then the name of the area and then the cut length. And if I look at a roll cutting map, I can match that. So it has the, the room name and the cut number and the cut length for each cut and also the fill pieces. Some other options down here at the bottom, this bill of materials output, these are all of the things you see and don't see when you print a color summary. So if you uncheck totals only, it will give you quantities by room. If that's checked, it'll just do totals for each material. The other ones in here are pretty self-explanatory. Waste as a percent of gross or net that's up to you. If you choose gross, the waste number will appear a little lower. And that's just because the gross number is always going to be bigger than the net number. If you have any questions about the individual settings in here, feel free to ask in the comments and I can give you a little more instruction, but this is just sort of an overview. The dimensions, you can do selected room, or everything or selected material or none. You won't be able to see those though unless the color is turned off. Room labels as well. You can do all labels. Calidus will automatically generate room numbers for each room that you draw or no auto labels which is just the rooms I've named or no labels at all and so on. You can change the size of this information 
by holding down control and hitting F11, which will make that bigger, or holding down control and hitting F12, which makes it smaller. So that's it for the general settings for Calidus. If you have questions, feel free to ask those in the comments. And thanks for watching.